What's up guys? So yesterday Blizzard blessed us with this absolutely fire skin. It's the Raijin and the Fujin bundle. I honestly thought this was an Overwatch League skin because it's literally so dope. Unfortunately, this skin is actually pay to lose and this is not something that I knew before I got the skin. Before we get into that, let's talk about some of the good things about the skin. First off, Ash herself has an incredibly cool design. The detail on her looks so good and I love her hair plus the hair piece or the headpiece, I should say. Um, honestly, like all the extra details that's on here, it's really cool seeing this image right here because it kind of reminds me of, you know, the Naruto curse mark. But even though I know it's not that, regardless, I think there's just so much detail going on on this skin that makes it honestly like herself makes it worth it also the way the colors contrast on her just everything about her looks good the detail is, is honestly just great um next let's go ahead and just look at her weapon um so for her weapon it's kind of this design right here it looks really good um there is actually something we're going to talk about about it but this looks great like honestly i like everything about it it doesn't look like it's too much going on uh, but you can definitely tell it's a legendary skin uh, probably should this is what it looks like without the gold for any of you guys who don't have the gold weapon yet um but yeah it, it looks great the handle looks really dope um and yeah like the, i like the design now uh we can look at her coach gun again we're seeing more of the same style of the design a uh, little bit kind of looks like her skin even some more and it keeps up with her weapon as well so the consistency is there now let's look at her dynamite which is not really something you're really going to see aesthetically that often um, but it still has a design you can see kind of the stripes here the most important part about it that i think looks great though is bob bob actually looks super dope this is the i guess the fujin skin because it's Raijin and fujin but this skin looks really good and i like the design on it the colorway actually doesn't look bad but honestly like when you look at it gold it looks so good like it looks just crazy nice and uh, honestly that's kind of why why i like it the most um i think the kind of like gray beard with the gray hair and the gold just looks really great to me i don't know why but something about it just looks super aesthetic in my opinion um so yeah i i really like it honestly i like all of them that look that are in gold to be honest but this skin actually has one major flaw to it that i seriously hope they fix and it's something that actually does like genuinely need to be fixed now i'm sure you're wondering how could this skin possibly be pay to lose for full disclosure pay to lose doesn't mean that if you buy the skin you will literally lose games or anything like that what it means is that it's actually putting you at a disadvantage using this skin over pretty much any other ash skin and that's because the iron side on this skin is absolutely atrocious. I can't believe that somehow Blizzard managed to drop a skin as good as this without having someone check this first. There's literally so much visual clutter for absolutely no reason at all. Just look at this comparison. You can see the iron side is very clear, open, and clean. Now take a look at the Raijin skin and see how terrible it looks comparatively. If you still can't see it, here's a side by side. I mean, I've already got the skin because I didn't know that it would be like this, and I do still love the skin, but how do you let something like this slip quality control checks? Like, I would imagine you have a team in place for something like this. Luckily, it looks like this is something that is at least being looked at. Mirak on Twitter actually beat me to this tweet, so I'm going to credit him to it, where he says, hi, at O'Reilly Jared, who is Jared Neus. He says, congrats to Overwatch 2 team for releasing this awesome Ash skin. As a small feedback, the Iron Sight is sadly blocking lots of vision compared to Overwatch 1 slash Overwatch 2 default skins. Are there any chances the team is reworking the site? This is something that I actually really agree with, and I hope that they are going to plan on reworking this. Also, hopefully this will be a lesson so where they get someone in place to make sure that they're checking these skins, at least for Ash and Widow, because they literally need to zoom in to see and if there's something in the way or even Ana as well if there's something in the way while they're trying to aim it's it's never going to be healthy but luckily jared did actually respond and he says that he is discussing this with the team so it looks like they are going to at least be looking at it and hopefully fixing it sadly enough though this isn't the first time where a skin has caused some sort of competitive disadvantage if you remember the battle for olympus event you should also remember that there are actually some really dope skins that represented a little bit of the gods 
uh, Medusa being one of them for Widowmaker. Now, this skin honestly was really cool it's really dope and it had a really nice i think it was a character intro where she would stare at you turn you into stone it was just honestly a really cool skin and a really good design and honestly it matched widowmaker like very well the problem is that this skin actually was also pay to lose uh the snakes on top of her head actually gave away her position so if widow was trying to be sneaky or hiding somewhere you could actually hear the snakes and pinpoint her location just take a look at this As you can see, he was able to literally pinpoint their position because of a cosmetic having a distinct audio indicator, which is honestly just a troll at this point. Like, why even use the skin at that point? I just really hope that they are able to fix this because Ash is a hero that I play a lot, and I'd really love to be able to use his skin because I honestly think it's her, it is her best skin. Uh, and it's honestly one of the coolest skins, and Bob actually has a really good design too. It's just overall just a really nice skin, but unfortunately with the iron sight which is something that you literally do need in order to use ash uh it makes it really just unbearing to play her because she just has this visual clutter in the way and it's not really optimal when using her now you some people who really don't care will still probably use her probably um and maybe they don't won't even notice a difference but for me i could definitely tell that there was a little bit more obstruction in the way than there should have been so for now i'm just gonna stick with my tiger huntress um and i think it's still a really cool skin so hopefully they get this fixed but if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like on it and if you want to come back and see more dope overwatch content smash that sub button and i'll see you guys in the next video